Hi, um, my name is Alan Cantle. I'm the president and founder of Nalatech. So, uh, and this is a JT. JT Kellington. I'm uh, part of the CAPI enablement team within the IBM Open Power Organization. Uh, we're here today. Um, Nalatech specializes in uh, data centric computing for the last 20 years. And um, we're, we're widely known for our direct compute attached accelerators and also our network attached accelerators. But today, um, I'd like to, we're doing a technology reveal in collaboration with IBM of our flash, uh, of our CAPI flash uh, accelerator. So this is attaching um, flash storage, two terabytes of flash storage, directly to a Xilinx FPGA, um, and then, then that is being coherently attached to the uh, IBM processor through the uh, CAPI interface. And I'll hand over to JT to give a bit more detail on the CAPI. Yes. So uh, we codenamed this uh, Flash GT, and this is a follow-on to our IBM Data Engine for NoSQL, which we collectively call CAPI Flash. So the, the, the value that you get here is that you get to attach to a Flash device without having to go through a device driver. It allows you uh, a much much higher uh, speed up with, with lower latency, uh, drives higher bandwidth, and you get much better performance. So this is a, a new technology for us. The, uh, the existing solution um, company encompasses a, a flash drawer. This uh, allows you to have a homogeneous system architecture in uh, large scale where you can have uh, every box could have a, a flash appliance in it. Um, it also is a much lower cost alternative. NVMe is much cheaper than enterprise grade uh, flash. So this, we're really excited to, to announce this um, product today and add it to our Cappy Flash lineup. Thank you. Okay. And this thing happens to have a Xilinx part in it, right? It, it, I mentioned that it has a Xilinx part in it. it it's, uh, it's a Xilinx Kintex Ultrascale KU60 device. And it's uh, working with a couple of Samsung... There's a couple of Samsung NVMe flash uh, drives. And um, yes, there's, there's resources, so we've got the main CAPI interface, as JT explained. Uh, but additionally to that, um, there is some resources left for, uh, for, for additional features in the future, including the likes of inline compression, etc. Great. Okay. Thank you.